we're going to do an ignition demonstration on this device. This pretty much goes for the other type of uh, pulse jet engine also. That's, that's the best way to light it is as you're turning it down, the flame will fly up inside of here. And as soon as you hear a little crackle, you're going to want to turn the fuel up. So as soon as you hear an oscillation, you're going to want to turn the fuel up. So let's give it a try here. We're going to start off. Ooh. The discharge velocity when you have the Venturna nozzles on is quite high. It's like five times the speed of the combustion velocity of propane. So what we do is we turn it down until the combustion velocity exceeds the discharge velocity and the flame will enter into the burner and initiate the oscillations. We'll do that one more time. So this is definitely, this particular model has a thermal cracker on the back that converts the propane into methane. It doesn't get hot enough to do hydrogen necessarily, maybe a little bit, but it also does hexane, I believe it was. And the combustion characteristics of methane are different from that of propane in such that you can pump more methane into this little combustion chamber with the provided airflow from both processes, then you can propane. So this device will run at a higher frequency and everything when it's on a gas like methane and hexane. So we are cracking the propane, turning it into mostly methane, a little bit of hexane. And hexane may not be the name of the gas. I'll, I'll write it up there if I find it. So guys, wait till you see this. This is without the thermal cracker, and we had more bottle pressure that time. So this is the next day. Listen to that tone. Look at that heat. We're doing something here. It's very explosive stuff. All right, fellas, that's all I got time for today. This is what we've got here. If you have any input on this specific design or any war stories about trying to get these things lit, leave us a comment and let us know what you got. That's all I got time for today.